Well, I meant to cover this the other day when I see it, but I forgot, so let's do it now. I expect many of you remember the past few years and the utter pond scum that sat on TV vilifying people for their medical choices that time has now proven them wise on. Some of these people acted more demented than most, but all deserve their place in the history book of scumbags. We need to make it clear to them that the vaccine is the ticket back to pre-pandemic life. And the window to do that is really narrowing. I mean, you were mentioning, Chris, about how all these states are reopening. They're reopening at 100%. And we have a very narrow window to tie reopening policy to vaccination status. Because otherwise, if everything is reopened, then what's the carrot going to be? Without proof of the vaccine, you can't go into a pub, club, restaurant, gymnasium, anywhere at all. You can't travel, theatre, you can't even go into work. I mean, personally, I have to say, I don't even think that we should allow people on the streets unless they've had the vaccine. So I hear what you, what you say about somebody exercising their freedom not to have a vaccine and they're perfectly healthy. I don't want them sitting next to me in the theatre. I don't want them standing next to me at the theatre bar. I don't want them next to me or anywhere near me or even in the same carriage on the train. So, uh, yeah, they can exercise their freedom by staying at home. Well, it's almost like uh, you probably don't see it like this. There's two different classes of people. If you're vaccinated or if you're unvaccinated, you have all these rights. If you are vaccinated... That you... is what it is. So, yep. Yep. Vaccine, 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 vaccine. I'm begging of you, please don't hesitate. Vaccine, 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 vaccine. Because once you're dead, then that's a bit too late. <laughs> Yeah, we had medical fascists and toss pots all over the place telling people to waterboard themselves with face masks in the sea. Over in Spain, uh, they are going to make wearing a mask on the beach obligatory. Yes, they are. Um, if you're on a crowded beach, mm. there's a risk of transmission. Uh, and in theory, if you go swimming in the sea, you should be wearing a mask. It was probably the most arranged two years you'll ever see in your life, and now we got plenty trying to backtrack their way out of it. This I've covered before and will always cover when I see it. So today, let's roast that haggard looking wankstain Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, the 80s action hero is now a dried up tosspot who come out with this as some might remember. And the only way we prevent it is, is to get vaccinated, to wear masks, to do social distancing, washing your hands all the time, and not just to think about, well, my freedom is being kind of disturbed here. No, screw your freedom. Screw your freedoms if you don't get the jab was his line back then, but now it seems he's changed his mind. Here you can actually see him saying sorry for what he said while also talking a load of bollocks in the process. I mean, just listen to this bit here. I think we should be able to disagree without being enemies. Shame he didn't think that when he said this. No, screw your freedom. Yeah, what happened to disagreeing and not being enemies back then, you've got to ask yourself. He goes on further down to say this, though. I'm sorry for saying those words. I try to be relentlessly positive, but sometimes my mouth gets ahead of me. I should have communicated better. When no, you should have just shut your bloody mouth or said what other people do or don't take is up to them and not me. Instead, you jumped on the bandwagon and told millions of people to screw their freedom, which in my book, a sorry just don't cover. In fact, I don't think there's much that can make up for that if you bloody ask me. Other people may be different, but I'll never forgive or forget any of the famous scumbags who used their position to attack the public who made them who they are.